Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. A Roadmap for Action on Healthcare Expenditure and Value Part IV Value-Based Compensation This is the fourth and final part of my series on the Health Affairs Council on Healthcare Spending and Value S February 2023 Report, A Roadmap for Action. Each part describes one of the four priority areas within the report, the recommendations thereon how the U.S. can take a more conscious approach to curbing healthcare spending growth while maximizing value. I served as co-chair of this initiative with former FDA Commissioner Drive, Margaret Hamburg. In this final part, I will outline our recommended actions on value-based payment. Click here to read Part I, Part II and Part III. In recent years, there has been a culture shift in the healthcare sector that not only aims to provide better and more comprehensive care, but also on the way these services are paid for and value-based payment models have proven themselves for both public established as well as for the private sector. In an effort to reduce rapidly growing healthcare costs, value-based care and payment models have attracted a lot of attention because of their ability to reduce costs while improving outcomes. Available in various shapes and sizes, these models combine innovative arrangements that prioritize the quality of care over the quantity of services provided. Some examples of these models are bundled payments, accountable care organizations, and even the full global per capita. However, the advent of value-based payment models has not been without its challenges. And because of the complexity and variability of these unique payment models, while they represent an environment right for innovation, there is very little data that can be used to track progress or best practices. To date, most research has focused on savings attributed to accountable care organizations established under the Affordable Care Act of 2010. Studies have shown Medicare savings ranging from just under 1% to over 6% of total spending per person. And the research is mixed when examining the savings, 